So to give you the overview of what cloud seeding is, um, about 93% of all of the liquid water that traverses, liquid and ice water that traverses the lower atmosphere over the US, um, so the water in the clouds, right? About 93% of that doesn't precipitate over land. It just evaporates away or gets recycled by the oceans. That means that there's a ton of water up there that's just going to waste that you can bring down. So certain clouds that aren't naturally precipitating or that aren't very efficiently precipitating, you can identify those with radar. You can measure that there's liquid in them that isn't coming down, fly a drone up into them, uh, disperse a material that freezes the liquid in the cloud. And we can talk about what that material is later, but disperse a material that freezes the liquid in the cloud into big, heavy snowflakes that become heavy enough to fall down. And if it's warm beneath the cloud, melt into rain. If it's cold, stay as snow. Um, and so if you just blast a cloud, right, that isn't, and then it rains, that isn't necessarily proof that you caused it to rain, right? Like maybe you're just good at picking clouds that were going to rain anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and so nobody could really justify doing this at scale up until 2017. And what changed then was the National Center of Atmospheric Research, an organization called NCAR out in Colorado. They realized if you have the right wavelength of radar, of dual polarization radar, which I'll talk about again in a sec too. But if you have the right kind of radar and you fly in a zigzag, right, or in a circle or in your initials, and you only see precipitation on the radar in your flight track, then you can say, oh, that is definitively man-made because we flew in this zigzag or we flew in this spiral and there's only precipitation occurring in that shape. Um, they did that in Idaho in 2017 multiple times. And that was the, the very first time that people were able to show, one, that it was unambiguously working, and two, that they can measure how much water they put on the ground. And so most folks, even in the scientific community, are still catching up to speed with this tech. Um, the regulatory community, some people know about it, think it's cool. Um, some people think that it doesn't exist. Um, some people don't know the difference between cloud seeding and geoengineering and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but I'm in that category. We'll talk about that then. <laughs>